Do you know about highly it? I don't recommend it. Fifty percent, according to the government's own data, of high school seniors have experimented with marijuana by the time they graduated, and it's been that way for about 20 years. I'm like Willie. I'd rather see that number go down. On the other hand, I must admit, I haven't seen a lot of damage as a result of that, because I think it's, it's light experimentation, I think. I think it's the yeah. least... If they're going to do you know, anything, might, yeah. yeah, I'd rather have them smoke the drink, but I'd rather they wouldn't do anything. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather they keep their minds clear until you they're know, old my, enough my to make still their doesn't smoke. Yeah, it's good. She was know. she was raised around people that smoked all the time, and when I go out and visit her, I get stoned with my son-in-law. She doesn't even smoke. She's yeah. not interested. <laughs> you, uh, you know, being a um, uh, a marijuana activist out there, as you have been for 35 years, you've been associated with normal for 35 years. Uh, when you have kids, uh, how do you explain if this marijuana when you're going to make it? We're going to have to, you know, we're going to much longer. So. Right. How do you? How do you? I don't did you, know. Did I didn't explain so it. Uh, okay. but I just. Uh, Told them that there's things that they shouldn't do until they're old enough, and the uh, is one drinking with one cigarette with another. Uh, you know, these are just things that uh, I felt like uh, I didn't want them to do. Sure. We're, we're going to have to. Didn't want to, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't want them to smoke marijuana. I didn't want them to drink alcohol. Right. I didn't want them to smoke cigarettes. I didn't want them to drink too much. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, Red Bull, or you know, right, all, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, caffeine yeah. and all those drinks. I don't want them to do that either. Yeah. Uh, but I know a lot of them. You know, well, we want our children it. to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't think they should do it. Yes, they're gonna do it. Yeah, yes, they're gonna do it. Um, okay, now 35 years of normal. This is the first time you've done a, a concert in, in a long time. This kind of thing. Um, what the, uh, What do you remember? about starting with normal 35 years ago. Well, I just remember that I liked, you know, Keith, and we always got along, yep. and uh, we always uh, could figure out ways that we could help each other, and uh, I was glad to be a part of normal. I think it's a we, great organization. Well, thank you, Willie. We also used it when Willie would come to Washington during the Jimmy Carter administration. Uh, the Carter boys and I would go out, and sometimes we'd hang out with Willie after the concert. That's, 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 that's the beginning of it, and there's the Carter administration. That's when, yep. that's when Keith was rocking. Yeah. No, those yeah. were nice years. We were younger yeah. than yeah. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. You are Speaking out. for myself. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's see. Now, the, today you're here for this. Um, we have four different organizations. I understand you wanted to make sure patients, that's why the first question was about patients. I want to say you wanted to make sure patients got some, some of the proceeds from today. Just like that. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you think uh, should happen here? I mean, uh, should we legalize marijuana? Uh, or should we go after a patient? I think there's a lot of terms. I think taxing and regulating is two good terms that I really love to hear. Is that right? Treat it as tobacco and alcohol, period, and move on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a lot of revenue there that they're missing. I think there's a lot of illegal drug dealers out there that can put out the business just like they put out the bootleggers back when they made whiskey legal. So it's the same thing all over again, and it's time everybody grew up and started to think about what's really real. And, uh, Make the money off of it. Quit letting the illegal drug dealers make the money. Make the money for us, for the farmer. He can really do well. He can really help his money situation. That's right. There's so many people that can, that can help and benefit. You know, it's funny when you, when you hear you talking about farmers and things like that. I know Keith was involved in farmers as well. Um, the the bio willy. The the feel. It seems to me that this subject, marijuana, and the subject of bio the biofuel that you work on, that somehow are, are related. Well, you know, Gatewood Galbraith and I, when he was running for the governor of Kentucky, Twice. Tra we traveled around, uh, yeah. you know, in a hemp mobile. Yep. Hemp so, mobile. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can uh, you can use hemp oil for a lot of great things. Yeah, they, that's I guess is where they, they the ideas converge. You you don't use hemp for your bio oil. What is it made out of? The what? The, the bio willy fuel that you have? Uh, well, we use vegetable oils, and uh, right now I think we're probably running on uh, soybeans. Soybeans. Mm -hmm. Good for the American farmer, man. Mm -hmm. This this bus we're in here right now is oh, yes. that, right? Absolutely. Probably 100% since we're around Austin, because I've got a 100% tank in my uh, on my ranch out here. We fill up here. Is that right? Is that, how's that business doing? Well, the overall business of uh, biofuels is doing great. The uh, supply. Uh, you know, it's not quite up to the demand. Uh, a lot of people know it's about still it. Hard a lot of people get. are trying to get it, and they can't find it in their, you know, local Conoco station. 
right. one of these days. What do you think the biggest impediment to getting biofuel in? I mean, I mean, I, from my point of view, I think like people are still suspicious of it. Well, does it mess with my car? Do I get worse gas efficiency? Do I am I going to pay more? Those are the questions. I talk to. I have a radio program every Wednesday on XM Radio, mm -hmm. with, uh, what channel 171 with my old buddy Bill Mack, and uh, he talks to these truckers every day. But I talk to him for an hour, and we talk about. They, uh, you know, they're the ones that have really spread the word about biodiesel because they, they in the beginning were just like you say, they were leery of it. Their, yeah. their uh, truckers, their uh, owners were leery of it. They, what was it going to do to the warranties and all the? What was it going to do to the motor? So everybody was leery of it. I told them about how I ran it in my brand new Mercedes. My wife runs it in her Volkswagen. Yeah, that, you don't know, change the engine? No, nothing. Wow. And, uh, we have a tank in the garage. We back it up, fill it up. This is with vegetable oil on Maui that's uh, collected from all the restaurants and the grease traps around. They take it and they make it into 100% uh, 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 vegetable oil where you can run it right back into it. The first diesel engine was designed to run on peanut oil. Was Rudolph, it really? Rudolph Diesel invented the, you know, the diesel engine and it was designed to run on peanut oil. So, yeah. And they have a, the, you get a card and all that? Like That's that? right. And they have you a dispenser. You get a doctor to get you a card, and uh, right. I think there's like 1,200 on the island of Maui now. 1,200? Yeah. Wow. Um, what did you have to go through in order to get? Well, you had to answer some questions, uh, you yeah. know, and uh, there are certain things that there's no problem. If you have a severe pain, if you have different things, there's a list of things, you know, that, uh, stress, whatever, then uh, a willing doctor can give you a car. Right, very good. That's, that's the way it should be going these days. Yeah. Rick, Rick uh, for all, uh, I mean, I think it's important to make the notation, though, that Willie has always been for legalizing marijuana, regardless of why you use it, whether it's medical right. or spiritual or personal or anything else. I think that's fair, isn't it? Yeah, I, it's just that uh, it was more or less a statement when I joined that. You know, sure. But there no, wasn't no. a problem of finding anything over there. Oh, no, it was always available. Right. But it's just a matter yeah. of... Yeah, like, no, no. Uh, it was 40 of you to do it. I agree. Okay. I agree. Mm -hmm.